Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Blueprint. This is our 2024 KTM 500 EXC build and today's video is gonna be something that's kind of a little special trick that I do to my bikes. This is gonna give you a softer clutch pull so you can ride longer, ride more technical stuff without your clutch hand wearing out. Let's go ahead and jump in. What up guys? Today we are working on something I love to do to all my bikes because nobody likes a heavy clutch pull. So let's open this up. Over there. All right, so you're probably looking at this going, hey, a Brembo clutch master cylinder. I have one of these on my bikes. It came on one of my bikes, it came on all my bikes, but this one's a little bit different. So flip this over right here. And right there, it says zero nine. So what that nine means is nine millimeter. And what that refers to is inside here, there's a piston that pushes the fluid this way. Now, this is a nine millimeter master cylinder here. And if we come over to our bike, our 2024 KTM here, we look underneath here, where does it say? Bump, bump, bump. Right there, it says 10. So these bikes come with a 10 millimeter master cylinder, which it means that when you pull your clutch in, it pushes a 10 millimeter piston this way, moves fluid over. So this moves more fluid than the nine millimeter. And what that does is it means you don't have to pull this as far when you pull it in, but it's a heavier pull. So going to a nine millimeter, you pull it, it pushes a smaller piston, which makes the pull lighter, but it has to travel further. So I wear a double XL glove, um, XL, double XL, depending on what brand it is. So I can reach a lever that's a little bit further out, which means I have more travel, which means a nine millimeter is a good thing for me. If you have tiny hands, going to a nine millimeter master cylinder is probably not going to work because your clutch will not disengage. That means when you pull it in, the bike's going to keep creeping, kind of how it feels when it's cold and the oil's not warmed up. So anyway, we're going to install this nine millimeter clutch master cylinder. And then this, this is a ASV C6 lever. So ASV is the brand, C6 is the model. They make a few different models of these. And this is my favorite. Now, a lot of people ask about running a short clutch lever that uh, doesn't smash their fingers or whatever. I run a full length clutch lever because I like extra leverage. Long day on the bike, eight, 10, 12 hours sometimes, you want more leverage to make the pole lighter. Light clutch master cylinder with a long lever is going to give you the lightest amount of pull possible. If you set it up properly, you don't need to pull it into where you crush your other fingers with one or two fingers, whatever it is. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and check this lever out in comparison to a stock one really quick. All right, so I have a bolt here going through the pivot um, from the stock lever. This is the one that came with that master. Anyway, you can see that this ASV is actually longer than the stock lever, so that's going to make the pull even lighter. Um, which means we can move the master cylinder inboard even more. I'm not going to measure the weights today. I did all this a long time ago on my 300 build. Between that and changing the Belleville washer, I think I got it down from like 14 pounds of pull down to I think eight and a half or nine. We're not going to be putting a lighter Belleville spring in this bike or adjusting the preload on it. We're just going to be changing the master cylinder and the lever. So let's go ahead and start swapping this over. All right, guys, so step number one to swapping this over is to get the 10 millimeter off your bike. So go ahead, open up that reservoir. We're going to need to get the fluid out of there. You can use a syringe if you want to suck the fluid out to reuse it. I usually just put a shop rag in there to uh, kind of absorb the, the leftover fluid and get all that out. Once that's done, go ahead, pull back this little black cover here, and we're going to need to loosen it up at the little silver nut, not the black one. The black one's an adapter, so little crescent wrench, because I think this is actually a standard bolt, not a metric one. Uh, go ahead, loosen that up, unscrew it, and I'm gonna put that straight into my new nine millimeter because I don't want all the fluid from the line pouring out all over the place. If you don't have a vacuum bleeder, this is pretty important as you wanna make sure you have the fluid uh, so you don't get air down in the line. Uh, for me, I'm gonna vacuum bleed this so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna pull all the stuff through, but if you don't have a vacuum bleeder, this can be a little difficult to uh, re-bleed a new clutch as it doesn't move a lot of volume. Next up, get that perch tight and level. We're gonna fill this up here and then I'm gonna hook my vacuum bleeder up down to the bottom. And basically what a vacuum bleeder does, it works off an air compressor and as you squeeze the handle, it just creates suction uh, down through the clutch slave here. 
and creates a constant vacuum. So you can go ahead and just pour fluid into the top of this instead of having to sit there and actually pump the lever. You can get a good vacuum bleeder off Amazon for about 30 or 40 bucks. They're worth their weight in gold. Um, if you're bleeding brakes or a clutch or anything like that on a regular basis, even if it's just a couple times a year. Because if you've ever sat here and tried to uh, get air bubbles out of your clutch line or out of a front brake or whatever, it sucks. Having a vacuum bleeder just makes life so easy. And this isn't a tiny one. You got a pump. You literally hook it up to your compressor, pull the trigger on the handle, and it does the work for you. Just make sure that you don't run this dry because you'll suck air in and you'll have to start over. Next up, uh, gonna end up just spraying everything off, but let's get this new lever on here. Um, removing the stock one here, we're not gonna reuse the spring that comes with the stock one. We're gonna put the ASV on. And I started putting this in here with the shield that's gonna protect it for off-road use. And then I remembered, you know what? We're doing a video. I probably shouldn't have the shield on because it blocks everything. So basically just put a bolt in here. And you can see right here, it goes to the very end of the bar. So that technically would be fine. It's not hanging off. It's not gonna break anything but I'm gonna to wanna to move it inboard on the handlebar as far as possible so that I can have more leverage and it keeps the lever itself protected in the event of a crash. So we're gonna slide this in to where it's comfortable and uh, to where it has more leverage. So all the way in as far as you can, make sure nothing interferes and make sure it fits your hand. All right, so here is our final product and this is reach adjustable on the ASBs. You just spin this little dial here. You can get it nice and close for short hands, further away, whatever your thing is. Just remember with the nine millimeter, it's gonna require more travel, meaning you'll have to pull it further. So you'll probably wanna run it further away. So big hands, good thing to have. Anyway, hope this tip helps you guys out. Brembo nine millimeter, ASV C6 in the long setting. And for record, I do run a shorty front brake lever because I like the feel of the shorty on this side. But over here, couple that. And also get the little adjusters Talking about these clamps, they look nice, but they have some uh, Delrin plastic inside. So they uh, clamp down, but they allow this to spin in the event of a crash uh, versus the metal ones bite into the bar. So it's something there. The levers fold forward, but these also allow it to spin on the bar. Just something else nice to add. Good to look at. Nice piece. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you like the stuff. Drop a comment, blah, 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 blah. Thanks for watching. Get out and ride.